como estás? Está en Boquillos, México para el muerzo. Wow. Hoy es miércoles? I don't know. I don't know anything you just said, baby. Okay. So, uh, we're in Mexico for lunch today. Hell yeah. Uh, right here, this is a little trickle, trickle of the Rio Grande. And first time ever for us in a national park, we did a day trip to another country. So, back over there is uh, U.S. Customs. And we have our passports in our bags, as Jared calls this. This is my Rambo pack. Yep. Uh, this is the newest addition to my traveling gear. Tonight we're going to do a bonus video about how you can take a trip just like us. And I'll comment on cool tips like getting a Rambo pack. <laughs> so anyways, um, this morning we were up really early and we left Rancho Topanga. We came back into Big Bend and we did a hike along the Rio Grande farther up. Uh, and we saw the hot springs. Yeah, the hot springs rim canyon trail. We did not get in the hot springs because yeah. it was hot. We did it at eight. We started at eight, we were done. Oh, we started at nine and we were done at what? 1130? 11 yeah. And it was 73 when we finished and it was crowded. When we started it, it wasn't crowded and it was actually nice. It was like 63 out, but when we finished it was hot. Um, and then not too much farther is the Boquillas border crossing so um we crossed the border in one of these boats you haven't seen one yet have you no nope, they haven't gone across oh, son of a we're gonna have to stand here long enough until you see one see one of these rowboats cross the river because this is how we got across the the border today this is how we're gonna get back into america there's rowboats right over there um we went over there's, into uh, mexico it's a rowboat that goes across to get over into the city you can uh, take a mule, you can see them all down there. Uh, you can take a truck, or you can walk the half mile. What do you think we did? <laughs> we of course walked the half mile into the city, and there are two places that serve lunch. The, the whole town is only like a couple hundred people. Uh, the only reason that they're there or exist is because of the couple little bit of tourism that they get. So. We had lunch at what I researched as the more authentic of the two re Mexican restaurants over there. And it was very good. We ordered two entrees and split them. We had uh, chicken tamales and then like a uh, carnitas tacos. Those are very good and some margaritas. And then we walked around town. We purchased some souvenirs, as you can see. No wall, Mexico. We have a cactus playing a guitar, wearing a sombrero. This was my um, souvenir purchase for the day. And um, then we went to the other Mexican restaurant and sampled their margaritas just to compare the two, you know, so I could leave like good reviews on the places. Um, food was much better at the first place. Boquilla restaurant. Boquilla's restaurant. Margaritas were so-so. Um, and then we walked back. Pretty soon we'll be. I'm sad you can't see one of the boats cross. Not yet. No, nobody's coming. There's people walking. Yeah, they just they sit you in the little rowboat and they just row you across the river. There you go. So uh, yeah, it's been a really fun afternoon. Yeah. Very unique park experience that you can do. And glad we did it. Uh, next we're headed out to, uh, we've managed to get a backcountry site, which means that we'll be doing a little bit of off-roading to get there. So we'll be real slow and careful with a couple margaritas under our belt and uh, camp out way out in the country tonight. Yeah, we're more worried about the tires on the rental Wrangler. They're Michelins and uh, Hopefully those will survive some punctures because uh, if we get a flat tire, that's okay. But if we get two flat tires, we're screwed. Well, I'm sad you didn't get to see the rowboats because that's the whole reason we chose to do the video here. All right. Well, we can wait a second. Okay. We'll pause it and we'll come back when there's somebody using the rowboats. Okay. Okay. So we have some customers now. They're uh, in the United States that are going to get picked up 
and brought over to Mexico right here. Um, if you, this costs five dollars per person round trip, so um, two fifty per carry. I mean, you can go ahead and walk across right here if you want. Just go, walk across the United States, Mexico, that type of thing. Um, they really say that they don't have a problem with illegals here because if you saw anything around us, you'd see that there was nothing other than like mountains and mountains and mountains and mountains. It would be very challenging for a person to actually get to this point and then make their way through the desert into America. So they really don't deal with many illegals here. Um, but you can go ahead and just walk yourself across the river here if you want. Yep. Come on over. Go on back. Melissa vetoed the idea because we don't want wet boots for tomorrow. Um, so. On the other side, there's uh, two custom stations, which are robots. So you, we'll have to scan our passports and then it'll dial a customs person stationed somewhere in the United States. And we'll have to talk to them and show them our passport and we'll be let back into the U.S. Uh, looks like we're about to get <laughs> plowed over. I don't know. What no, happening. he's going to go get the other guys. Hi, guys. They want to drink. They want to go swimming. They seem like they know where they're going. They know where they're going. I think we might be in the way. We might be in the way. We're causing trouble. We should get out of here. We got rogue horses all over now. <laughs> we should stop. Or are we get in trouble? <laughs> it's a beautiful seven minutes so far. <laughs> All right, we're back on track. All right, All we're right. gonna go take the rowboat across, right? Yep. All right. You want to show them the road we came in on? Show them the road. All right. That's where we walked. Just walk a half mile down that road. Wasn't too bad. Should I be wearing this when I go through customs when they answer the phone? That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I think Adios. You Peace.